Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this modern house design. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add in the kitchen, the dining, the living room area. We also have finished the first and second bedroom and then the receiving. We added the washroom. And now we're gonna concentrate on getting the stairs complete so let's begin by going to architecture and then stairs so once you click the stairs you'll be able to add in so base level will be level 1 all the way to level 2 so let's add in the run so we're gonna add the run right here So maybe, actually I just press escape and then let's add in the run right here. So we could see that we have 18, so 9 riser created. After that, move it on the other side and then let's finish up with the rest. So now what we have to do is we need to move this one inside of this so we're gonna make it smaller like so so we're just gonna make it even we just need to be patient and then how about the landing like that so now what we could do is click finish for now and then we could move this one backwards like that We're going to change this location so somewhere here and then the whole stairs we're going to nudge it inside like so okay and then after that let's edit the stairs and then let's edit the landing that there's some room here so we could put it in a room here so good enough we could click finish and then of course we're gonna pull this back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a two door bifold so two panel bifold so we're gonna add a closet here that will be below the stairs okay so now we have a new dimension for this area let's put this one in the middle so something like that I would also like to add in the room tag so let's add in the tag right here we're also gonna add it here and then click on room separator so press escape and room separator we're gonna separate this and then we're gonna separate the stairs so now once you do that you'll be able to click on 
this one for the room. the washroom and then the stairs and let's change the scale and then after that you just need to drag it a little bit so that it's readable so this will be bedroom 1 this will be receiving as for my friend this will be bedroom 2 let's move it a little bit on the side washroom This will be kitchen, dining, living, kitchen. And then the stairs. So where we're able to add in everything we can move it on this side as well so the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the floor so click on floor and then edit type let's duplicate this this will be floor number one press ok edit change the thickness to 200 and then change the material so let's use concrete and then ok so let's do this so from the corner up to here and then we could add in this let's use TR or trim and extend and then trim and extend on this part as well after that we will need to create this one because washroom usually has tiles so we could just change it afterwards so click finish so we have this so better yet let's change Let's change this to this instead. After this, let's add in the another floor. So click floor one, edit type, duplicate. This will be floor number two, and then let's change the material. Let's use this one. And do it like this. Click finish. And we have that area different. And then click on floor again. Edit type. Duplicate. This will be floor number three. And then after that, let's change this one to concrete lightweight. Press OK. And then this will be for the carport. Click 
click finish and there we go also let's add in some some wall here so I'm gonna use exterior wall and then CS and then I'm just gonna create around 400 or 500 and then in this one as well 500 is a good and then after that go to wall and then click on this drop down and then scroll down and click on curtain wall so once we create a curtain wall let's add in a curtain wall on this spot also in this area so click on wall again And then another curtain wall on this. Let's add it here as well and here. So after that we need to cut geometry so if you if we look at it at 3d the curtain wall is not visible but you know it's there so what you have to do is go to modify cut geometry and then choose the wall first and then the curtain wall wall curtain wall wall curtain wall wall curtain wall and lastly wall curtain wall and we're gonna leave it for now like that I'm gonna look at the elevation that he created and I wanna see how he wants it to be made so let's go to south elevation and here we can actually modify the width and then the height so let's modify it like that and a little bit at the bottom okay We can also you do it at 3D. So we can actually just move it down from there. And then after that, if you want to copy the same height as this, you could go to modify or align AL type in AL so we want to copy the curtain wall height like this and then below like that so that one's copied for the washroom we could just estimate it we know that there's gonna be a toilet so a small window is sufficient enough something like that and the one for the stairs we could same let's align it on this one so I'm going to copy this one and then align it from there. 
this one as well, align it there. So it looks good. So let's go back to level one. And we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.